Okay, so now we go. Um, so the challenge we're working on is uh, that users don't like ads. That might be a surprise to some of you. Uh, but uh, ad blocking has become from a hacker thing to a mainstream phenomenon. So a lot of uh, people use ad blockers now. Probably a lot of you who here uses an ad blocker. Yeah, so I think it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. So um, the response of publishers to that is that they are putting up paywalls. So they, they, they force you to pay. And um, that's, that's fine. But the problem there is that 100% of the paywalls have bad user experience. And you can quote me on that. I tried a lot of them. Uh, they, they, are, they all, you know, either in payment or in the way you use uh, login, all that stuff. So, um, and also another problem is that the current fee structure of uh, small micropayments make small content quite expensive. So that's that's an issue. And um, essentially, it means it's uh, impossible to send one cent over the internet. So to send a very small amount of uh, money is almost impossible to do in a, an open system. In closed loop system, this works, but in an open system, it can't be done. And our solution to that, I think I'll start with um, a demo first. So frictionless nanopayments is something that we came up with. And uh, I think it's easiest if I just show how it works. So basically, if my browser now works. Uh, what's happening here? Great, my computer hates me. That's nice. Or well, maybe the cable is. Okay, so um, let's start with uh, our website, where we have um, we have free content and paid content mixed. So you can scroll down here; all that is free. And then you have one part here that's covered. That's uh, the so-called uh, paywall or soft paywall, and it says you need to pay in order to see this. So there's one invention right here that you can mix paid and unpaid content and have just one par paragraph paid, and the rest is going to be free again. So um, Let's say top up, and if anyone wants to do that right now, does anyone want to <laughs> top this up? No? Okay, I can do it. <laughs> All right, sometimes it works. Um, so I'll do that. Uh, just scan the QR code. I can do that here. Oh, okay, press send. And that's it. So now we topped up. And the thing is, you see it's a, it's a new browser session, so I've never been on this website before. It means there's no onboarding. It works straight away. And I can go next, click on this, and it pays itself, and that's it. Boom. You just paid for a very small piece of content, 2,000K, uh, 2,000 Satoshis. That's roughly, I think, 0 point something cents. Um, it's, it's a very small amount. And now we go to another page, in this case, uh, Master Investor. And although we've never been on this website before, you see in the bottom right, down here, the remaining balance. So that means you, you take the balance to the next website without even being logged in or putting in any password or typing in any email address. It just works like that. And yeah, you see this, uh, this is a bit of a longer page, so it costs a bit more. So I click here, and then within a few milliseconds, it's paid and retrieved the content. It just doesn't reveal the content, it actually loads the content after payment. So it's a real shipment of a digital good in that sense. And uh, yeah, let's go to the last one just to conclude the demo. Um, my awesome cat block is the one that I personally run. I love cats, so I, no, I don't actually. So because you don't want to click all the time, we have something called automatic payments. and. You can just switch this on, and then everything that comes into your screen, visible area, pays itself. So you don't even need to click. I don't know if you saw it right there. I scroll down a little bit, and boom, it pays itself. It's very fast, and uh, yeah. So it just it removes all that friction of having to click on things, and also like the going to another website. There's no uh, login and so on. So that's that was kind of the design goal to remove all that, and that's what we. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> wow. I hope that wasn't uh, someone from our team. I don't know the start of this. <laughs> if yes, then yeah. Uh, okay. So, and uh, uh, yeah, what we've seen is there's no sign up and uh, there's no download. So the, the whole thing works on the same uh, same way on the mobile. So there's no ex extension to the browser or anything. It's just built in JavaScript completely and comes with the website. And uh, so the publisher sees this. They have a dashboard where they see a small type of reporting 
and um, yeah, the latest uh, sales and so on, and they can yeah, drill down in the data and optimize data because it's a strong message if someone pays for your content, it's more than a click. It's like, a, this is worth something to me so they can optimize their content based on, these, on this data. And um, so we started with a WordPress plugin as a very first reference implementation to, uh, for our API, and that looks like this. So uh, on the screen, you basically have another uh, new field there, which allows you to enter a price and uh, yeah, take it as, as paid content, and that's all you need to do, and you can get started straight away. So it's very easy also, low friction on the publisher's point of view. And uh, so by nano, I mean uh, not one cent or even less, so very small amounts. So we can even sell small content for a fraction of a cent, 0.2 cents, and a lot, of, a lot of these payments can be made per second as well for each user. Um, so what's behind this is a Bitcoin smart contract called Payment Channel. Um, yeah, I can explain that to, to people if they are interested later. It's, it's pretty cool stuff, and uh, yeah, it works quite well for us. So the micropayment channel, that's the one. And uh, we take a 10% fee from the publishers, so that's our cut of this, and it's free for the end user. Uh, let's look at some traction, so that's the actual update here. We have um, 120 publishers from around the world. This map is not completely accurate, but it shows you kind of the distribution of um, where our, our users are from. So these are small blogs, people that signed up and uh, that use it to test around a bit. Uh, to be honest, there's no power user there, but uh, it's, it's good to get some technical validation. And uh, roughly 8,000 user wallets have been created since the beginning of the year. So the trick, oh, thanks, yeah, another one. Not on my team, so thanks. <laughs> um, so, but the thing is here, because there's no onboarding process, it's very easy to open a wallet because you don't actually open it. When you see our little widget on the uh, bottom right, you already have a wallet. So that's the trick here. That's also why this number seems quite high. But um, roughly 1,600 purchases were handled with our system. And uh, a whopping 69 uh, euros volume. Wow, it's like an amazing number here. But uh, so it's not all bad news. It uh, gives us the, um, um, the knowledge that, okay, this works, technical validation is there, and to some extent also um, a market validation that yeah, this, this, uh, this stuff can work. But what we also uh, learned from this that we need to scale this massively. So we need to scale the hell out of this to make actually a viable business out of it. But uh, yeah, so the milestones quickly, uh, we raised some seed and angel funding last year, and we released our WordPress plugin earlier this year uh, as a public beta, and uh, we are acquiring some growth funding. And also there's gonna be some crowdfunding, so if someone wants to get in you know, on the ground floor, feel welcome to, to talk to me later. Um, but the future, we are also gonna implement other payment methods, because not everybody in the world, unfortunately, that uses the web has Bitcoins. We realized that quite quickly. And uh, so other payment methods like credit card payments and so on, or maybe even PayPal at some point, will be possible to top up the Satoshi balance. And uh, we'll also open this um, technology as an open API, so you can then integrate into your own digital goods um, yeah, uh, merchant system or other things, or you can also use on a lower level the, the payment API directly, build payment channels through our system. And um, also a very interesting part, because it is a fully functional Bitcoin wallet, it's relatively easy to also enable uh, reverse payments, meaning the website can contribute to some coins for some meaningful interaction with the website. You fill out a survey, the website credits you 50 cents, or you translate a line of text, or you rate an image, and uh, yeah, so these kind of things can be contributed directly, and I think that's a very powerful tool, that it's a two-way system. Um, the two-way system is also interesting for the Internet of Things. So machine-to-machine -machine payments, there's no real solution there. And we are conceptually working also on, on a solution in that space. So it's, it's going to be quite interesting there. Um, also, with these small amounts, uh, with these small payments, you can make um, so-called me to be uh, things possible, meaning that the consumer can sell something to the corporation. For example, their private data. If they say, okay, my email address or my gender or my preferences in, in content, I can sell to you because it's worth something to you and there's an actually uh, transaction back to you. It's a, a real transparent way of uh, uh, transferring value on the web, which is currently through attention and kind of other ways intransparently, but I want to make it more, we want to make it more uh, transparent that these uh, values are actually being shifted around. So that's it from me so far. Thank you very much. If you have questions, maybe later.